A fine morning to you, and thank you very much for joining us. Um, wherever you're watching from, all I can say is that in Lagos, southwest of the country, where we are broadcasting from, I don't know what that was all about. Sorry about that uh, <laughs> insert. It's not part of the program. But as I was saying, it's, uh, it's cool. It's cool in Lagos. Let's just say it's cool. It's drizzled. It's rained. It's drizzling right now where we are. Okay, that's the weather report over. Uh, on to the subject matter for today. And um, the elections, you know, we, we, actually that's what we've been doing all week, different, aspe all week, different aspects of it. Uh, we, we stayed in uh, Benue quite a bit because there was something we had to sort of sort out in our understanding. Uh, that moving on, uh, more generalized, uh, or if you want, coming to Lagos, but uh, to also represent the nation in terms of uh, youth's participation in the 2023 election. As you know, the president did sign a bill, uh, not too young to run, and um, some have taken him up. We uh, will be finding out uh, how many, but uh, in that connection, let me introduce one of my guests, engineer Abiodun Owokoya. Uh, he's a political affairs analyst, and he actually is an APC aspirant for the position of um, the seat, the House of Rep seat. Uh, that is to say the Kushofe federal constituency. Um, Abiodun Wukoya, an engineer, as I said, but also um, a musician. And <laughs> indeed, in that field, he's known as uh, Abicheche. So uh, there you go. Abicheche, engineer, musician, <laughs> politician. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Indeed. Thanks for having me. All right, then. Our pleasure. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, well, Mr. Gideo Logan is a lawyer. He's also interested in the arts. I don't know how well you are, how good you are with music. But jokes apart, Mr. Gide Ologun, lawyer and public affairs analyst. Thank you very much uh, for coming on. Resplendent. You're looking a bit like a chief this morning. You're Thank welcome, you very much. You, It's you a sure, pleasure to be here. Are you sure you're not buying for anything? <laughs> not right now. Not right now. Uh, but you know you look the part. Yeah. You look the part. Just driving the advocacy for good governance. Okay. So, as I said, that's what we'll be talking about um, today. Um, engineer Abiodun Wokoya, yes, uh, there you go. Um, we, we can't escape it. Uh, okay. People have been complaining that the forms are very, very expensive. You start from the presidency. Uh, the presidential form is 100 million naira. Um, and yours, because you have selected the um, House of Representatives, um, is just a mere 10% of 100 million naira. So as you sit there, you have dropped 10 million naira for the form. Absolutely. And you received the form, what, what, what yesterday or so? No, two days ago. Uh, no. That is expression of interest and... Yes, sir. Uh, and hmm. the actual nomination form. And the actual nomination form. Well, uh, first of all, there's a reason, there's a way in which you should congratulate anybody who has been able to uh, drop uh, 10 million uh, <laughs> for any form. Congratulations Thank on you. that aspect of it. Thank you, We sir. see how it goes with the um, uh, electorate and no doubt... You're not going to leave that to chance. You're going to be working very hard on strategy Absolutely. and that kind of a thing. Um, you, did, did, you, did you always know that you would run, you were going to be interested, or uh, was it at the encouragement instance of um, Mr. President who wants you know, the youth to come, to come into politics? Uh, absolutely. Uh, I know well, with what I've been doing before, uh, and I see the way things are going, so I decided to, you know, to run for the, for the position to advocate for the youth. Even after when the president uh, have signed the bill, not too young to run. And uh, I've seen a lot going on in the community within my constituency. And I see the vacuum, like it's very open. That I'm like, okay, uh, I can step in into this uh, seat to advocate for the youth because I say that the youth have not been recognized enough in the community. And, uh, you know... Uh, wait, 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 whose fault is that? When you say the youth have not been recognized enough, is it because the youth haven't been up and doing on the, in the political sphere? Um, the youth certainly are recognized, and I know this is more of a cliche yes. than anything else. They've been recognized when it comes to the arts, when it comes to music, when it comes to fashion. Uh, you, you, you see the youth and you see, if that were a category, they're very well recognized. But politically is what Politically, that's what I'm driving at. So politically, we've not been given enough chance to participate in governance. Mm. And uh, 
you know, somebody is it, like is me. Is it that the youth haven't shown enough interest uh, so that there's no choice? These yes, youths you know, are so have, active and want to come into politics. We have a that lot of... That hasn't been the case. Okay, so this is my uh, understanding that, you know, we have a lot of uh, old folks in, the, in politics right now and, uh, you know, we try to respect them and, uh, you know, they tell us to, you know, calm down. You will get there one day, someday. But right now, we think... Uh, to change the narratives because we younger, you know, if you look at this generation right now, we are more into like more of technologies and stuff like that. And uh, we have a lot up there that we can put in place that can help our nation, to help our country. You know, uh, for somebody like me that have opportunity to have traveled out of the country, to study out of the country, and also uh, to work and uh, participate in the best government all over the world, which is the United States, serving on their, uh, serving with the government up there, and also serving right now uh, with the, uh, serving the, supporting the U.S. Senate uh, as an engineer. So we have acquired a lot of, I have acquired a lot of uh, uh, knowledge and uh, I have a wealth of experience that I believe when I bring back home, uh, when I bring it back home, it can help the youth, it can help our nation, and it can help our constituency. Okay. So part of the reason why mm. I am vying mm. for that seat. Oh, very interesting. Um, Jide, what do you think, uh, having listened to uh, Abiodun, um, he, he, he spoke about having, you know, gone further afield than our shores and has interacted and gathered experience and gathered knowledge. Let me, like, let me liken this a bit to soccer, football. Um, of course, we have football, footballing talents all over the world in diaspora and all of that. Uh, but, you know, they are Nigerians. And they're part of the Super Eagles. But homegrown players, how important are they when you transfer that analogy into politics? Do we have homegrown players, to, so to speak, uh, uh, do you think we, we, we have that as well? So that just as we have quality personnel from, above, uh, from abroad, do you think we have a sufficient number? Because at the end of the day, that's going, to be, that's going to be the basis of everything. Absolutely, we do. Maybe not as sufficient as they should be. In Kushofe constituency, where Engineer Okoya is, I have one of my mentees who is also aspiring and um, he's done so well by getting involved mentees in mentors that is somebody that you mentor <laughs> exactly okay. you know and he is going for the house of assembly seat in lagos state and okay that one is two million naira. Okay, uh, I, mean, I can tell you i've been checking exactly you know, that so, one is two million naira, so you know and i think one noticeable thing i'm is talking about the form when i mentioned that financial figure that's yes something. i know mm -hmm. i know you know you realize that he got involved. <coughs> Some have all the experiences, and they are not involved. If you are not involved, if you don't engage, you will not find a way to even deploy the talents and all the knowledge you have to improve on the governance profile of the country. And talking about involvement and engagement, history reveals to us that um, General Gowon retired, became the military chief of staff at the age of 31. In 1966, when <coughs> the, uh, before the Civil War started. Mm -hmm. So you imagine that when he became the head of state, early 70s, he yeah. was under 40. Yeah. But they've been involved, even no, if that is and, a military and, and aspect of it. That, uh, th those were those days. You know, say things, something happened to Nigeria. I don't know if you agree, because you're very right. Mm. Coming out of the, you know, out of the colonialism and all of that, and all of those people from Anthony and Nahoro, even the great late sage, yes, you know, exactly. Aulo, they Zee, were all of them, all of young, them were, young were in the 30s. Some you know, we can explain that by coming back to the younger generation to let them know that life is never fair to anybody. And a wise man said, you don't get what you deserve, you get what you negotiate. So even if you have neglected the political arena, start showing interest. Stop, you know, stop this sitting on the fence. Stop being servitude in nature. <coughs> that, oh, if only they can just give us money to enjoy. They buy drinks for you. They throw things at you. Get involved. Occupy the space. In fact, right now, you are the one helping the elderly one, the old politicians, to find their way. How many of them can stand the heat of campaign that, okay, there's going to be fracas? You know, you are the young ones that will I, come I, out. I don't know about old politicians. Mm. Elder, elder. 
politician. I, I know what I'm saying. Uh, you, you see, know, you, but, but sir, you say, right oh, now, you know, okay. Chief Olusha Kobasanjo, whom I respect so much, is still so relevant in the Nigerian politics. Who was the American president when Chief Olusha Kobasanjo was military head of state of Nigeria? Do you still do you still read so much or hear so much about their shakings in the political game? And that is what I'm saying. So, and I sat down with a senator at a time, and I engaged him. It was a program unit like that. Sir, you talk about the youth, talk about the youth. That how are you going to incorporate them? And he told me point blank that they are not in a hurry to leave the stage, and that power is not served like cat for whoever understands that. So, the youth need to galvanize and engage from the angle of knowledge. Not what is in it for me, like the plate of pottage that saw uh, Esau <laughs> took from his brother and sold his birthright. No, we are talking of sustainable development. We are talking of the future. Yeah. As we sit here now, students are at home, as to strike. And some of these politicians, their children have graduated, even in the course of this as to strike. You see, so why is it working on the other side? It's not working here. So you first need to sit down, study like he has done. He has mm -hmm. gotten, I mean, that's one of the passions I have. Sometimes I imagine that I've not had the opportunity of coming out of, traveling out of this country. Maybe I won't be interested in advocating for development in this nation. They will just know we are here, we are here. But we've been around the world and we have seen great things happening. You see, so, and that is my concern. The youth must, please, <laughs> repent look at the level of their involvement i just said it now they are the you know the, the the capsule of driving the force of politics in nigeria is in the hands of the youth but negatively so they are the ones who will go out there paste the posters you know erect the billboards go out there sing and dance dance in the open balls and you know push the politicians forward no get involved at the world level you want to know what is going on. Let me let identify me. those who can go forth like Joseph amongst you. Okay. Support them. <coughs> let me ask Abiyotun how far he himself has. <coughs> and by the way, if you don't mind, how old are you? Uh, I'm pretty in my early 40s. Okay. Uh, because um, there are many politicians who w could, could um, actually be your father. You know, Correct. Active politicians. Correct. And you just heard from him that... Um, Talking with one senior politician, and yeah. I'm saying that we're not in an undue haste to leave the scene. Now, he brought up some uh, issues there. Uh, what the youth are know, known for, uh, and maybe it's a stereotype because there are also youths who are academics, right. uh, youths who are research, researchers, and, and so on and so forth. But by and large, people see the youth as happy-go-lucky, not really caring. Uh, has that really uh, affected you in terms of the perception people have? Or maybe I should really be asking, what is your perception of um, what it takes to be involved in politics? Because he pointed out something that a lot of people think of going into politics as a meal ticket. Let it be said. Mm, yes. It's just a meal ticket. Uh, they, they hear about the humongous salaries that uh, uh, these people are getting, uh, which, by the way, <coughs> people are saying is totally out of this world and needs to be addressed, but nobody's going to address it because those very honorable, honorable gentlemen and distinguished senators you know, are ready okay. to block any, any such nonsense. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll take it up from where my strategy uh, uh, stopped, mm -hmm. and I will pick some points from what he said. So absolutely, we the youth we realize that uh, power will not be served like a bowl of uh, alakas. Al <laughs> and, and secondly, is that uh, the Koshofe youth we realize this. That's why we come together and have uh, been appointed to to be the advo to be uh, the voice for the youth in my constituency. And uh, that's why we contributed the money <coughs> together to buy, to purchase the phone. Okay. So the the, the Kuchufe, you put oh. the money together. Oh, oh. oh yeah. you, you're saying that you didn't just write a check for that. I didn't just write it. They but you could have. I, it's okay, but... <laughs> it's you, okay, you know but I'm fishing here. <laughs> I'm fishing here. You could have. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so because, the, uh, the people are, are, I'm hearing mm. even at the bigger levels that people are announcing that, oh, my support group the, just, just bought the form for the youth me. We don't know which one brought it by himself, <laughs> but they're now saying it is a support group. The youth, the youth on the coach put it together, and they said... We are ready to go for this. Okay. We 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 are we are we are really serious for this game. So for them to for the for people to know that we are 
Uh, we are ready to get involved. We are ready to take the power. We are ready to change the narratives. Mm -hmm. We have a vibrant youth. We have a, a, a youth that is very capable, that is very enthusiastic, energetic, mm -hmm. powerful, educated, and all of that. And I have the capability and the I, capacity I, I, I to like, handle it. I, I like so, that. You, you said you were, we're ready to take the power. Uh, legitimately, of course. We're yes, ready to take the power uh, so, via the ballot box, which means that there's a heck of a lot of organizing that has to be done. Okay, uh, you continue, but Esson has called in from K2. This is very early. So, uh, good morning to you, Esson. Esson in K2. Esson. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Please go good ahead. Morning. Quickly, please. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. Please go ahead. Uh, I want, uh, my question is to Engineer Abiodun. My question, I have a question for Engineer Abiodun. Sure. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Go ahead, please. Okay. okay. Now, you said you you were once in America, you did your whatever, whatever in America. How do you now want to contest against uh, Yetunde Arubieke, who is a grassroots uh, politician, who everybody knows in Kosofe here? How do you want to contest? Uh, you are a very young person. You don't have any any experience in politics so far. How do you okay. want to fight against someone like that? Okay. Who has been known here? Who everybody knows? I don't know how you want to do it. All right. Uh, I get your point. Uh, I think you're saying, uh, well, you've not said so, but it's clear to me who you are supporting in Kusha Fair. Uh, so we understand that. Let's see how the gentleman wants to respond to that. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Sheson. I really appreciate that. Uh, first and foremost, I want to, to first of all realize that I was born and raised in Kusha Fair, number one. Number two, I've started uh, politics in Kosovo since 1999. Uh, I've been part of the struggle. I'm not just coming, probably because I just mentioned that I have opportunity to travel out of the country. I remember during the, our, our national leader, Bola Metunubu, his first, uh, his first campaign, I was one of the musicians that was playing the trumpet uh, when we were doing the campaign. And also before this, our, the, uh, before the pass away of our youth, uh, of our uh, leader, uh, Baba Salami, I was part of the people that was actually there in Mende, that was part of the guys that were the arranged chairs and that when it comes to uh, campaign, I was part of them as well. And other, other leaders as well, like okay. Pepe and all of them. So, so I've been in so the system for a minute. Okay. So I am not just coming. Okay. Probably because I'm not putting my name out there, mm -hmm. that's why you don't know me. Mm -hmm. I've, been, mm -hmm. I've been doing this from the grass. Go and check the video. I put it on the platform. If you are a PC member, you see me where I was distributing water okay. for, for during mm -hmm. the campaign. So you've contributed. You, oh, you, yes. You, I've been paid, in the system. You've paid dues. You've yeah, paid dues. Paid because dues yes. This reminds me of Obama. Uh, right. uh, it, it goes back to 10 years before Obama became president. Exactly. You could see where he was doing community work and that Correct. kind of thing. Did I hear that Mr. George is also on the line? Good morning, sir. Good morning, Uncle Yari. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Uncle Yari, just call me or uh, not just call me is not the issue. We are okay. talking about potential here. I have said it before that the youth needs to infiltrate the political system from the lower level not from presidential level. I'm happy about the decision the young man is taking Absolutely. and the, the man on your left, the kind of, uh, uh, you know, generation he's mentoring. That's the way they can infiltrate the system. What will happen on Kyori is, like you've, uh, your guest has already said there, the generational change is not going to be uh, served on the table for the youth to take. They have to grab it. They have to seek it. And the way to seek it will not be violent. I foresee a situation where digitalization of our voting uh, uh, platforms is going to hurt the youth a lot. If your guest succeeds in getting to where he's going, let him rally other youths in order to concentrate on that maybe making it a law so that it can be a platform through which the youth can eventually emerge. But that is one aspect of it, Uncle Yori. The second aspect I want to talk about is the youth, their age. Is age really the problem in governance in our country? We have some uh, governors. The governor of Kogi State, for example, was a governor at 40 or something thereabouts. In his, uh, during his uh, first term in office, 
he was the most complained about governor, if I'm right. Now, those that are older than him, Fashola was older than him at, at the time he came. But you can see the record of Fashola in Lagos. We can mention some other governors that were older than that governor that did that much better than them. And then you now see the way in our society today, uh, society today we have deterioration of morals and insecurity and crime everywhere. Who are the leaders in these spheres? They are mostly youths. So I do not, uh, the, the age doesn't appear to me as the key thing. It's about thinking method. Gener that's why I keep on talking about generational change. Generational change has little or nothing to do with age, but a way of thinking. We, only assume, we are only assuming that being young, that their thinking pattern will be different and will be oh. more dynamic. That's yeah. why, you know, some of us are saying, okay, let's give the youth a chance. But not that being young is necessarily, you know, the, 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 the way to become a good or that will bring about integrity in politics. This is what I'm yeah. saying. Thank All you. All right, then. Thank, thank you very much, Mr. George. Really appreciate you all. Now, I, I imagine that you might have, you know, one or th two things to say about that, uh, uh, Mr. Biodun, uh, <coughs> but first of all, let me ask uh, uh, Gideon Logan. Um, the mindset is what Mr. George is concentrating on, that that is what is more important. Never mind that you're 23 or 33. Um, what is the mindset that you have? Uh, because people sort of equate youth with change, the generational thing that uh, Mr. George was talking about. Um, what, what if we have youths who have learned very, very well from their parents and are coming in with the same old, same old ideas uh, as to the stereotype uh, of what politics is all about. It's a male ticket. Uh, there are many politicians that are going to be offended by this. I don't mean to be offensive. Um, but, y you know, people just have that notion that you <coughs> go there, oh, they suddenly begin to see, oh, he's going to be getting remuneration in hundreds of millions of naira, and uh, we expect him to come back here and distribute among us. It, that mind change, that mind change is very, very important. It's a tough one, but we engage two classifications. Mm -hmm. You have the macro mindset, and you have the micro mindset. And what I mean by the macro is um, that... Uh, could, could I interrupt you briefly? I beg you for, for doing so, but uh, Ade, uh, Mr. Ade in the UK, he's just called in. So when he finished his contribution, you continue. Uh, good morning, Chief. Ade in the UK. Good morning, Dr. Yori. I'm recommending you for MFR. By the end of the year, government should give you MFR. Uh, <laughs> my view is a bit different okay. from uh, Mr. George, my friend. I believe in the youth because your generation now has failed us. They have failed the youth, you know? So I believe in the youth. It doesn't matter. Age matters a lot because when you are getting older, your thinking faculty will not be working properly. So, but the youth, they can connect with their youth member. They can relate with their youth, the age mates, if they are in the position. So I believe so much in them because they are digital. What? Okay, uh, we, we, we lost you there. But um, I, I don't know, I, I, take, I, I take issue with um, him saying that um, the older you get, something about your thinking. Um, I, I don't know that, um, I, I understand <coughs> what he's saying, but uh, you, you, uh, how can you cut it off? Um, that maybe you don't know how to think properly again. I think it's the experience that the youth will be bringing to bear that perhaps the elder politicians don't necessarily have. Digital uh, IT savvy and all of that is a major part of it. But like when it comes to the thinking <laughs> faculty, I think it could be very dangerous for a youth to write off an elder saying that he doesn't know how to think. No, that's not, not, not exactly, you know, no, I think he was speaking in context, yes. you know, I, 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 I trying agree. to paint the picture that life is dynamic. It and is. in every generation, there yes. are pragmatic approaches to solving problems. I, I would like to say something on that real quick. Please, please. So, you know, what he's trying to say now... Uh, like but, but before you go, let me add Mazio Korafo, who has called him from okay. uh, Arochuku, and then you'll continue. Uh, good morning, Mazio Korafo in Arochuku. Good morning, sir. Good morning, our guest. 
in the studio. Morning. Good now morning. you see, Macron was 41 then. Now, how, many, how, how old is he? 46 as the president of uh, France. Now, Nigerian youths are vibrant. Nigerian youths are energetic. Nigerian youths are hardworking people. Nigerian youths, the, the, the future of Nigeria, the world Nigeria is facing to this, the elders refuse to do what to mentor the youths because they don't want to leave the office. That is why you see the youths, 70% of them are still carrying for a briefcase for the elders. That is Nigerian problem. By the time the Nigerian youth will stop carrying briefcase or briefcase for the elders and sit up, make use of their energetic power and fight the office of presidency or governorship, they will come on board. But as long as they continue collecting stipends, stipends, stipends to go and cause confusion, they cannot move forward. Now you ask yourself, Sayuri, when you watch programs, see where you are talking. You know that there are, that there are many of them that are very, very educated and very, very intelligent. But when you come back to all these abracadabra, many of them like to, so after with the intelligence, involve themselves. But the question is this. The earlier the Latinan elders mentor the youth, the better for us. Some of these, our elders, they will die and die with their knowledge. They do not extend it. That is why you say now, ask yourself as a Nigerian, how many more industries do we have in Nigeria? 70%. Only 30% are functional. That is why you have unemployment. But what do we do? We have to sit up and think positively. The earlier we think positively, the better for us because if we refuse to think positively, it will not go well for us as a country, the way okay. we are going. Because mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know when I start looking at the digital report about that. Now they are telling us about a uh, the problem in Nigeria. Now look at one of these statements. He said, science says that we need at least four basic elements to survive. One, water. Two, air. Three, food. Four, light. And look at what the Bible tells us about Jesus. I am the living water. Two, I am the living bread of life. Three, I am the bread of life. Four, I am the light of the world. Now, science was right. We need Jesus. So Nigeria used to think positively if they want to move forward and stop carrying briefcase. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day in Lagos. Indeed. Thank you, uh, thank you very much. Now, um, uh, I did say I'll come back to uh, Vyodo uh, mm -hmm. Owokoya, but I do have to go on break now. But we ended it, please recall, on the whole matter about the mindset of the youth. And Mazi has just added uh, another plank about uh, this whole mentoring issue. The elders need to begin to know that they can't escape the responsibility of mentoring the youths uh, so that they can uh, take over. One of the big problems the youth have is uh, we often hear that of um, you, you don't have a uh, uh, you don't have an infrastructure. Uh, so somebody is going to be have to be helpful with that. Um, as I said, I have to go on a break now. Stay with us, please. We'll be right back. We'll continue this conversation and indeed uh, continue to take your calls. Okay, welcome back, and um, we're having this conversation. Engineer Biodun Owokoya Abecheche, um, he's actually vying for the ticket of APC in the, uh, to go to the House of Reps, representing the Koshofe Federal Constituency. He's already answered a question about that from you know, a competitor in, in that area. We have Mr. G.D. Ologun, a lawyer, public affairs analyst, and uh, he's very interested, keenly interested in the youth. In fact, he is... Uh, spoken of um, mentoring uh, some of them. Um, uh, and uh, I hear that Lekon, when we were away from break, Lekon in the UK joined. Good morning, Lekon. Good morning, sir. Please go uh, ahead. Okay, thank you. My own contribution is we talking about youth is very good. Our youth need to learn from the other. Even in UK here, Hardly you see the people campaign for the youth to take over. You know, automatically, the youth who willing to be a, who want to be a politician, who is a politician, can be relevant in their own local um, local government. So, but even in Nigeria, I can say even the Lagos State Speaker, Mulatu Obasha, how old is he when he was a speaker? 
and there's a lot of young people in the Lagos State House of Assembly, and even across the nation, you see, in their various uh, uh, local elections. So, we talk about the youth. Look, I'm sure you, well, I met you, we had as a position when he was young. So, automatically, the youth like that guy in your studio is young, you know, although he's 40, he's about 40 plus, but he's been proactive as a politician, according to him. So, that is how we start. It doesn't, you don't have to be saying that youth, youth, youth. You know, it's only in general we can think about you. They are making themselves compared to uh, the American, uh, the France president. You can't tell me the people who have been proactive as a young politician, you want them to just retire like that. No. It's about intelligence, cap capacity. We want. If we have a young who can do it, fine. If you have the old who can do it, no problem. We just want a good government. Okay. We want the good Indeed. Uh, in indeed. No, I was do. There's a lot of you who cannot do, who cannot do it. All right, then. Thank you very much uh, for contributing that. And uh, I do indeed take your, your, your caution, and I'm sure everybody does. Um, uh, our guest, Abiodun, who is vying for the House of Reps, uh, you know, ticket uh, of his party, APC, um, he, as he said, early 40s. Uh, that's not particularly young, you know, and, and it has been mentioned that um, there are many people. Uh, when you want to go young, uh, I don't know, you probably talk, is there a constitutional cutoff? You, you're probably talking tw 20s or 30s, you know, those you can probably say are young in the classic sense of the word. But relative to our uh, uh, political you know, um, contribution, your main thrust, your main interest. Okay, so uh, my interest, is number one, is just to make sure we have a, we have a, uh, we're making good laws that's going to be, uh, you know, as a legislator, that's going to be a uh, faith that will work well for the Nigerians that will kind of make the laws. And also from the oversight uh, function that I'll be running mm -hmm. uh, so look in the aspect of the youth as well. Yeah. How we can upgrade our system, how we can make things happen. Mm -hmm. Like I said, uh, I don't like inf uh, referring back to uh, United States because I'm not running United States. I'm a citizen of Nigeria. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and people want to be sure that you know yes, you know the environment. I yes, I you do know, know the environment. the issues. I knew the, I know the environment. All I did was just to study there and participate and you know to acquire some knowledge in there. Okay. You know, bringing it back to our country, to our community, is how can we move from where we are right now to the next level? Okay. Because and you need, you're going to need to do that with colleagues. Yes, you, I let me let me quickly say this because right now where the world is right now is into technologies and stuff like that. It's and a which modern is, era. Which is my aspect where I am I'm actually working right now. And, uh, you know, I've done this up there. There are Nigerians that are youth up there. I've trained them. You know, okay. they are participating. Okay. Working okay. in that government right now as I'm talking to you. So I thought about it. If we, if I'm given an opportunity to run the same thing that I work for mm -hmm. out of the country, I can quickly give you my, my antecedent okay. up there. I'm one of the engineers that set up, uh, I am the guy that built all the uh, servers they use for unemployment in the United States, in all the 50 states, including U.S. territory, Puerto Rico, Virgin Island, and Guam. I am there. I'm part of the engineer that set up fraud prevention system in the United States. I'm part of the engineer that built uh, their uh, social security system. Mm -hmm. I'm, I worked during Obama uh, administration. What about <coughs> that uh, young man? For who, healthcare. What, what about that young man, that uh, Governor Biodun's um, associate that was recently jailed for for beating the system well uh, he, he was caught be, he, he was he caught. can be the system because uh, i can well, tell exactly. i can tell you again he was caught the way the model the, the way the model was built the system was built is going to capture you you can escape the after 10 years and i can bet you uh dr yori that you cannot even okay. don't I, mind wait, 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 don't me. mind uh, i can bet you uh, 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 i can bet you you can't remember UK. everything you did for the, in the last past five years okay so we build a system that's going to capture every event that you can okay for the past uh, one second please because reverend dominic has been holding on for quite a while uh good morning to you reverend good, good morning yori i hardly hear you can you hear me we can hear you reverend okay Yori, let's have this critical thinking. Every time we have problem in Nigeria, most of the time we throw caution to the winds because we have problems. The question we must ask, the problem of development here, is it on... We will be more disappointed 
Because people who are caught us pain in quotes, who are caused the in, in, in a lack of development in Nigeria today, some since 40 years ago, if they're 60 today or 70, they suddenly when they're 30 and 40. If it is age, we are in big problem. You're in number two. Look at the moral standard of Nigeria 30 years ago. And the moral standard of the are you today. If it's age, we're in big trouble. Because if you see the class of the youth today, and the class of the youth yesterday, who are going to take the power, whether we like it or not, we are, we are passing away. It is like a shadow. Whether they like it or not, Olusiro of and Job and all their company are going away. These young ones today, who cherish more money, more iPhone, more cars, more clubbing, are going to take power. If the problem of Nigeria is in the age, there will be trouble here. But the problem of governance of anywhere in the world is not age. It's about think of faculty, it's about cast of people, it's about, about mission of people, it's about people who say evil is evil and good is good. The problem Indeed. is not age, it's attitude. Good morning, well, Nigerians. Thank you very much, uh, Reverend Dominic. And uh, this is actually in the same family of uh, thought as uh, uh, Mr. George, who called in earlier. You, 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 you subscribe to this uh, aspect of the conversation? Okay, look, it, it, of course, not too young to run excellent to encourage whoever felt that um, well the way they do things in nigeria they don't think of it uh, you know that it's useful that the president has sort of started that uh, whole initiative but it's really at the end of the day about um, it's not that we want youth for this for the sake of youth we want knowledgeable we want competent uh, people even if it's not youth we will take him but it's like we would rather he was youth simply because we have that antecedent all the all the people that we know in the public space right now they started out as youths mm. you know i made reference to the macro mindset and the micro <clears throat> and the macro has been simplified by the constitution what is the macro need we need in government section four of the nigeria constitution 19 as amended says that the national assembly shall make laws for the peace order and good governance of nigeria section 14 sub section 2 says that the security and the welfare of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. So we need people who can deliver on this. And if you check section 18, it talks about the provision of education for all citizens. So, and that is at the micro level. He made reference to uh, Barrister Fashola, BRF, you know, the senior advocate. When he was governor of Lagos State, the macro mindset was that nobody could dislodge the miscreants in Oshodi. Fashola did it. There was orderliness. That is the micro aspect. You see, in Genesis chapter 41, and permit me to go into the scriptures. Oh, you're going to go the way Joseph was invited to the palace, sir. Mm -hmm. There were magicians in the palace mm -hmm. who could not interpret the dreams and present a blueprint for a prosperous future. This young man came in and he presented the blueprint he was given the opportunity and he saved the world from destruction. So, and that's what we are talking about leadership. And I can let you know it's not until we have 75, uh, you know, you just go out there, make that difference. And we have several references. So, and we need that resourceful leadership in this country. That's uh, advising the youth sit down, profiling the candidates that are coming. If they give you 20,000 naira that you spend, what is the economy now? 30,000 is the minimum wage. 20,000 cannot take you for a whole month. You throw it aside. Okay. Look for those sure. that you believe can deliver a brilliant future for you and not mortgage your future. All right, then. Um, uh, thank you for holding on, uh, Chesson, uh, in Alagbado. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for calling in. Go right ahead, please. Yeah. Um, I've been listening very well to the contributor, to the contributors to the program. And uh, I want to congratulate her. Uh, Hello. Yes, I want to congratulate him for the courage to 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 throw in the cup in the to ring. Throw his hat in the, the ring. Contest, yes. Yeah. But uh, the problem is beyond the uh, youth part participation, as as uh, has been rightly pointed out. We have to look at the environment. He was pointing at the uh, uh, United States of America. It is not the same, not the same environment that we have. Youth participation, good, but the larger system of the political system, especially what is running at the national level, we can all see it, that uh, it is a system of uh, crime, it is a system of uh, impunity. 
in America, as he was uh, pointing out, as in the case of uh, uh, a governor age, he said you cannot uh, you cannot escape a crime, especially if it is uh, in a digital in a digital system. Do we have that system in place? Mm. So we just we will just be parabolated when we get to Abuja now. What obtained at the National Assembly? The interest, the vested interest. We have been mentioning it. Sectional interest, dominant interest of certain group. If you consume all the idea that you have, okay. I have an, thank you I very have much. Experience. Okay, I, I, thank you very much, yes, sir. I called you called him from uh, Alagbado. It's it's an important point. People come with the, with beautiful ideas, beautiful mindset. Uh, but if you don't have the critical mass to overwhelm that which is undesirable right now, and indeed, God forbid, the opposite happens, where all of your innovation, innovative ideas and all of that, is now overwhelmed by the status quo. Say, look, oh, God, come, you know, you, I'm sure you've also heard the story. It's an anecdote that um, you might come uh, into, uh, as a young man, you, you, you might want a job in customs. This is the way the story used to be told. Uh, you might be a born again fellow that you are going to be very very careful you're going to uh, you know, face your job and all of that now the story continues that as soon as you get that employment in customs so, <laughs> um you're going to be warned say no 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 if, if this is the way you want to continue they find some outpost to post you to so that you become irrelevant now i don't for one moment believe that that is true but that's that's the story now that's something along the lines of what he was saying that when you if you don't have the critical mass you get to your destination the electorate allowing and then you find that you can't really move forward with all those um, lovely ideas you have and i think the implication of what he's saying is that people then sort of capitulate and said it's okay if you can't beat them join them no uh thank you uh mr leko from alagbado i appreciate you i think that was Sheson. Uh, oh Sheson from alagbado i really appreciate you thank you for congratulating me and uh, secondly is that um, I believe in changing the narratives. We can make changes. Fine. What you said is absolutely right. The same environment there is not what we have It here. isn't. It okay, is very, very but, different. Uh, it takes a lot to get a lot. We are going to try to, pull, to start from somewhere. To start uh, adopting other people's idea. To implement mm -hmm. or to inculcate into our own system. Mm -hmm. You know, sorry to interrupt you, sir. Um, uh, no matter what your ideas are, you can't do it alone. I know. So it presupposes that you must have a group of people that are like-minded, that are thinking this innovative uh, way, in this innovative way, uh, that is going to benefit us uh, as opposed to what we have now. I don't want to say that everything we have now is rubbish, but certainly to move it forward and take it over. I think I'm. I think I'm prepared for that already. We have a team that we, we talk about stuff like this. You have that. Kind I have of that group. already. Yeah. I have that right here in Nigeria. There are groups of think, like, yes, people of think like time, yeah, good guys that they are ready to let's move us to the next level. Men and but, women. <clears throat> of course. Men and women. Of course. Because that's another thing. Yes. Women. Men and women. Well, I, I've seen a few posters, so that's 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 encouraging. Yes. But <laughs> we don't have enough women. Maybe do you agree? We don't have enough women coming into it. Ah, there's some women. I think I have some uh, other aspirants that we're contesting for I the same uh, position. Okay. Uh, there are like three of them or something like that. But it's okay. But that's not where I'm going right now. Where I'm going right now is that what he said, we can start from somewhere. We have to start from somewhere. There's no law that says we cannot adopt somebody's, uh, somebody else's idea or another place no, idea. No, no, no. But I believe we can get it done. We just have to start from somewhere. Like somebody like me, I'm coming with a heart of trying to change the narrative to try to impact into my into the system and to help the youth and you believe lot. you understand the system of here. course i do because of course you made I, the point that look 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 that american thing i was talking about i just i got i, I, I wasn't born there i didn't live all my no, life no, no, i'm not an american i'm a nigerian i just, just got an idea okay it's just a place that i, I got okay. an idea to i know the system to what you know about i know the system nigeria. is good yeah i don't want to say the other side is good but i don't want i'm not the kind of person that I have a, uh, that doesn't believe in the future. I have a positive uh, mind that it can change. We can change it. We can fix it. If we only, uh, if, I, if I'm given the opportunity to serve, 
Trust me, I believe we're going to change the narratives. Okay. Thank you. Uh, David, you're in Germany. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, Uncle Yori. Good morning. I'm so glad to be able to get your program live. We're, got, we're glad to have you too. Always following you for years now. Anyway, I also want to contribute because I believe in the power of the youth because uh, we, I believe we need a change, a, a turnaround in our country right now because when I see this young man in, on TV, I feel so proud because these are the kind of things you want to see. We need a blend we do, uh, that is a blend of, of intellectuals that is those that have lived in by the culture of how things are done in diaspora and young vibrant youth that have vision, not just the same old style, the same old political ideas. We need fresh, fresh ideas. We need, we need a generational change. So I'm Indeed. so glad to see this young man on the program and I wish to see many more young Indeed. youth from Dakura and even when you make the comparison within the local football breed up and you know this kind of blend i think this is what we need in our country and i'm glad to see this kind of thing because we've seen that our, your generation uncle yori has told us it's a it's a fact so I'm not sorry to see <laughs> the generation of field, so we need a, yeah. a new generation to take over. Indeed. So thank Indeed. you for You're very right. the good work. You know, we're looking I'm out. so glad to contribute this morning. Th thank thank you. you very much, Dave. Uh, we're looking out for them ourselves. And, um, you know, these youths that you're talking about, we're looking out for them. Male, female, we want them. And as, soon, as many as we can find, we will bring on the program. So we see the face of the Nigerian youth who's ready to be serious, uh, to take on responsibility, who are taking uh, it very, very seriously. And I've seen that all the people that are around now, they started, what, that are in their 70s now. They started when they were in their 30s. And uh, so why not me? Uh, that's very important. The, I like the way Dave put it. What we need is a blend. Uh, uh, but you do, know, you do need youths that um, intend to be serious. After all said and done, there are structures. Uh, a youth wants to become a lawyer, He's going to be radical. Uh, if, if he wants to be radical, he has to be radical within the structure of what being a lawyer means. Within the structure of how lawyers conduct themselves. Uh, same thing with doctors. Uh, it's just that we've got to bring a present time to it. I, I believe that Nigerians can do it. And uh, you clearly have indicated that Nigerian youths can do it. You know, let, let, let's simplify it for the youth. Sure. Very there are issues please. in the society mm -hmm. that need solution. For example, I was just in three when I was in Central Bank of Nigeria Lega Unit. Okay. And I saw the way they were handling some issues. And I was to handle the staff housing low skin. And I said, instead of going to a state for one week and coming back with complaints, go to three states in okay. one week. Okay. Then come back with reports. Keep the person busy. Mm -hmm. And my director, Mr. V.A. Moore, went to the governor and their team. And they changed the bank policy to accommodate. And we delivered on it. I created the geo, uh, like the economic political or you know, zones. So if I flew into Kaduna, from there I could ride to Plateau, and I'll be back in four days Have because said, it must be done. Exactly. But I had a challenge. Some were saying, would they listen to you? Imagine 23 years <coughs> old lawyer. I said, whether they listen or not, let me drop this on the table because they allowed me to come for the uh, management meeting on Mondays. And I became like the son of the director. Oh, mm -hmm. Jide, let's go for <laughs> seminars and things like that. So the youth should not sit back. And Indeed. that's why you need to, it's well, about providing solutions. <laughs> if in your society today, you design a technology that gives 24 seven electricity with low payment, you know, to challenge the problem, You'll be recognized for it. And yes, that's why indeed. I'm saying, don't just be shouting after politicians, collecting peanuts from them, and singing no, their praises. Uh, Get involved. Solve problems. Monkey by grade. Get I'm sure there are the some system. youths that are never going to be like Get that. into the system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, thank you very much, uh, uh, Jide. I could see that you were nodding to a lot that um, he, Jide was saying, which means that, um, to me, that uh, you agree entirely with a yes. lot that he's saying. Yeah, I agree with what he's saying. But uh, <clears throat> at the same time, I want to contribute a little bit to what he has said. We are uh, the youth. <coughs> I have.
have so many ideas that I brought, that I have, that I've implemented somewhere else that it works. And what is this idea? It's to avoid untimely deaths. Okay, okay. okay. I, uh, it's what now I, that you've had some time to think about it, that's what I was looking for no, no, earlier. I'm not, I'm uh, not, I was I, looking for that earlier. See, is there a major interest yes, that you have yes. so, to, to, to address this issue of untimely death? Correct. Now, I, I, I heard that, and um, unfortunately, we don't have the time to explore If you can allow me to just drop one, like, a minute. Oh, well, not a minute. Okay, okay, like 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Take 20 seconds. <clears throat> so what am I saying is this. I have an idea that we can implement that can avoid untimely death. Okay. I'm one of the engineers that did this and it works okay. in the United States. Okay. What is it? To check people's health record. Okay. Right here, right now, where you are right now, if you travel from here to Ogun State and something happens to you, they can't even pull up your medical records. That's... So, so I have digitization a of all of this kind of a thing. Yes, we have, a, we, I have a, the template in my hand that we can implement you right know, here. You know, Engineer Abiodun, we're going to talk Thank about you. this again. Thank you, know, you. Engineer Thank Abiodun, you. Thank Okoya, you. Uh, political <laughs> affairs analyst, as well as, um, you know, hopeful for the House of Reps ticket uh, of his party, the APC. Thank you very much for coming. Appreciate we it. certainly wish you all the best. Thank and you. we're going to be looking forward to taking on more youths and hearing what their ideas are. are. And uh, thank you, as always, GD, uh, Mr. GD Ologun, uh, lawyer, public affairs analyst. And uh, thank you very much. God bless so Nigeria. That's our program. Please join us on Monday for a fresh edition of the program. I am Yori Fulani. Bye bye for now. <laughs>